So, my question is, are you doing it right? Now, take your mind out the gutter, because that is not what I mean. What I'm talking about here is body language. Are you understanding body language in the correct way? One of the big mistakes I think a lot of people make when it comes to reading body language is that they focus on understanding body language so that they can tell if somebody is lying to them and all this kind of thing. I've been studying body language for, uh, I would say, quite a big number, over, well over 25 years, I would say. I have read as many books as I could possibly find. I've just reached behind me here and grabbed a few books that are on my, that are on my shelf. I have spent a lot of time trying to understand body language. In actual fact, I'll give you a quick book, a couple of book recommendations. The two books that I've read recently, which I feel are, are absolutely fantastic. Uh, first one is Six Minute X-Ray by Chase Hughes. That is uh, that is all about rapid profiling. So it's not just about body language. That was very good, that one there on profiling people. And this one here, the body, Winning Body Language for Sales Professionals by Mark Bowden. This is a very good book. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back on track. So the mistake that I think a lot of people make when it comes to reading body language is that they read it with the intention of trying to work out when somebody is lying to them, using it in a Sherlock Holmesy kind of way to figure other people out. My personal belief is that we should be understanding body language, first of all, so that we can use it on ourselves, so that we can understand the body language that we are communicating to not only the universe, but to ourselves with. You see, the way that we use our body, it affects how people perceive us. It affects how more inf how influential we are, how we're able to communicate with other people. Whether we've got open body language or closed body language, whether we've got body language that's of somebody who is energized or somebody that's of really low energy, all of these things, they send a message out to the world around us. They communicate to other people, the person, you, who that person might be that they're about to interact with. And this is transmitted before you've even said a word. The other place whereabouts we really want to understand our body language is what our body language is saying to ourselves. You see, the way that we use our body affects how we feel. Our body language has a, has a, has a, a direct connection to our brain and changes our feelings, our emotions throughout the day. So by understanding body language and the impact that that can play, it also means that we start to understand how we're communicating with ourselves. And as I say in my keynotes, one of the most important relationships that we'll ever have is that relationship that we have with ourselves. We spend a lot of time with ourselves. In actual fact, we spend all of our time with ourselves. So we need to, to communicate with ourselves in the best possible way, not just from the words that we say to ourselves, but also the way that we're using our body. So when it comes to reading body language, when it comes to understanding body language, Think of it from yourself first before you start trying to read others. That's my little piece of advice for today. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and, and like this video, share it around, leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Toodaloo until then.